Welcome to this QuickBooks 2020 tutorial for beginners on how to write a check in QuickBooks Desktop. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so what I wanna do in this video is uh, show you some basic things on uh, how to write a check in QuickBooks, how to enter a check, and then you know how to print checks from QuickBooks, all right? Because a lot of people still handwrite checks, you know, when they're using QuickBooks and entering a check in QuickBooks and printing it from QuickBooks makes things so much easier. All right. So I'm going to show you though, a couple, uh, a couple things here on how to do this. All right. So really, really basic. Uh, let's start with writing a check. So you're going to see on the home screen here, there's an option that says write checks. All right. So let me take a couple scenarios here. So the first one is, let's say that you do still handwrite checks. All right, so you're not printing them from QuickBooks, you haven't purchased the, the check stock where you can print them, and you're handwriting checks. And, and that's okay to do, um, but let me show you how to enter that in QuickBooks. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're going to click on Write Checks, and it's gonna bring up uh, the form. All right, this is called a form in QuickBooks Desktop. And you'll see here you've got a couple uh, input fields we need to fill in. All right, so the first one is you wanna make sure that your bank account is the right one. So if this is the checking account that this check is gonna be written out of or was written out of, handwritten, uh, you're gonna choose that. Next, you wanna make sure that you put in the correct check number. So if this, and, and so you're gonna look at your handwritten check and say, okay, the check number was you know 58261. You're gonna put in that same check number here and you're gonna do that so that you know that this is the check that cleared when you go to reconcile your bank account in QuickBooks. All right, the next thing, the date, it's pretty obvious. Uh, you're gonna put in pay to the order of, and let's say that this was payable to Chuck E. Cheese, all right? If you get a notification like this, and this was just a handwritten check, we're gonna click uh, no, all right? Put in the amount. So let's say that this was $265.32 because you took your employees to Chuck E. Cheese for a team meeting, all right? So you, you wrote this check to Chuck E. Cheese for that amount, all right? You'll see that it automatically fills all this in and you can put in a memo, you don't have to, uh, but then you're gonna put in uh, what this was for. All right, so this is the account, and this is how QuickBooks classifies things into your profit and loss statement or your balance sheet. All right, so we're going to say that this was, uh, we'll, we'll say that this was meals. I'm not sure if that account is in the sample file, uh, but we'll pick an account. All right, so you could have something like staff meetings or uh, meals, meals and entertainment. All right. I'm just going to pick something here. We'll say that this was office supplies. All right. So then you're going to put in a memo. Uh, if you want to, you don't need to, this is an internal memo and this is a memo that's going to print on the check. If you were printing it from QuickBooks, you can assign it to a customer or a job and you can say if it's billable or not, and you can class track. All right. So for purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you how to enter this check. All right, so we've got that entered. You hit save and close. Hit save anyway there. So you have now entered a check. All right, now the second scenario I wanna show you is if you are writing that check from QuickBooks and then you're gonna print it. Okay, again, we're gonna go, you're gonna put in, uh, you're not gonna put in a check number this time and you're gonna see a box up here that says print later. All right, so you wanna check that and you'll see that it says to print. All right, so again, you're going to choose uh, the vendor. We're gonna say no, and I'm gonna put in 254.29. You really love going to Chuck E. Cheese to have team meetings for some reason. All right, and you put in the memo, and then you put in the account. And again, I'm just gonna pick an account here. All right, so now when you choose this to print, obviously it's not putting in the check number, and you're gonna hit save and close hit save anyway and so what you're going to do when you want to go print that check is you're going to go up to file you're going to go down to print forms and you're going to see this option checks all right so you see a bunch of them here in the sample company file all right so you can select none and then go down you're going to see this check here for chuck e cheese and you put in the first check number all right so if this check number and this is going to be on your blank 
uh, check stock, you know, so your pre-printed uh, checks that are not filled out, you're going to put in the printer and you're going to say the first check number is 58147, you know, whatever that check number is. Then you're going to hit OK. It's going to take you to the print prompt on your computer. Make sure you put the check stock in the printer and then you go ahead and print. All right. So let me show you one other way. All right. So now if you were going to, if, if you follow the process, which, which I recommend, and I've got videos on of entering your bills and then paying your bills through QuickBooks, uh, you are going to, uh, when you go to pay a bill. Okay. So this is assuming that you have entered the bills and now we're going to pay the bills. So you see that right here. So you enter the bill first in QuickBooks, and then you go to pay. All right. So let's say that we check off. All right. This video is not necessarily on how to pay bills. Um, I've got other videos on that that you can watch, but let's say that we are going to pay this Amazon bill. All right. So if you have paid this with a handwritten check, all right, you can go down here. You're going to see down here, payment method check. If you are printing it from QuickBooks, you would say to be printed. If you have handwritten the check, and you just need to assign the check number. You're going to choose assign check number. All right. So let me show you pay selected bill, assign check number. You're going to put in here what check number was on that handwritten check. Okay. Then you hit okay. And it's going to clear it out of QuickBooks. Let me cancel this. So now let's say that you to be printed. That means you're going to print the check from QuickBooks. You can say pay selected bill. It's going to save it. Then it's going to ask you, do you want to pay more bills or print checks? You can go to print checks right here. If you don't, you can go back up to here, file, print forms, checks, and you're going to see Amazon right here. And then it's the same process. Okay. So let's say we just select that one. You're going to put in the first pre-printed check number, uh, enter it here, and then you hit okay and print it from your printer. Okay. Those are the basics of how to write a check in QuickBooks Desktop. If you have any questions, any comments whatsoever, feel free to leave them below and also uh, discover more over at the QuickBooks University. I'd love to have you join us as a member over there. That website is qbuniversity.org.